In this video, we present Team Cerebrus' progress and performance in the second run of the beta course in the urban circuit of the DARPA Subterranean Challenge, achieving 5th place out of 10 teams for the urban circuit. In the Sub-T Challenge, an international assembly of teams compete with advanced robot platforms to explore, map, and search for objects called artifacts within a completely unknown underground environment. For each artifact correctly identified and localized within 5 meters as compared to the ground truth, the team earns a point. During the urban circuit, artifacts included cell phones, backpacks, human survivors, CO2 sources, and air vents. During this circuit event, teams were tasked with exploring the unfinished Satsop nuclear power plant located in Washington state. The environment consists of a complex maze of both long, narrow corridors and spacious rooms, alongside numerous obstacles. In this beta course run, Team Cerebras deployed a set of robots to explore, map, and search the underground environment, primarily using two-legged platforms, which are modified versions of the antibiotics animal robot customized for subterranean environments. The exploration and mapping of the environment were supplemented by a ground platform named Armadillo, providing extended network connectivity deep within the competition area. The robots autonomously explore the underground setting with only a single human supervisor allowed to communicate with all of them. They exploit their onboard complementary SLAM, exploration path planning, and multi-robot map optimization to execute their mission. Once a robot communicates the location and class of a detected artifact to the ground station, the system utilizes a multimodal, multi-robot mapping method to optimize and refine the artifact positions using multiple observations from the team's platforms while simultaneously constructing a unified and optimized global map of the environment using data from all of the employed agents. Throughout the Beta 2 course, Team Cerberus traversed a total path length of 730 meters, detecting and correctly reporting a cell phone, a gas source, and a human survivor, scoring 3 points.